Do you want to create a stylish home on a budget or perhaps want to get into furniture flipping and just not sure what kind of furniture piece to begin with? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you through the transformation of this console table that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $50. You too can either transform and make over something that suits your space and home or helps you get a bit of extra money on the side. So if you want to learn how to do this, continue watching. The process and the steps that I'm going to guide you in this flip today can definitely be applied to any furniture that you find. The first thing I want to do is expose this timber because I always love showcasing the original timber and I think it really contrasts nicely with the painted body as well. I'm starting this flip by using an 80 grit sandpaper and to my surprise as I'm sanding it revealed an absolute treasure. Underneath this orange stain is a beautiful silky oak, my absolute favourite kind of timber. Surprises like these are one of my favourite parts of flipping furniture. You never know what you're going to find. With this top stain now gone, I can move on to a 120 grit. And then finish on a 180. With sanding complete, I can start giving this console a good clean. I knew that I wanted to replace the original hardware because this black and plastic style just didn't suit the clean modern lines of this console. If I'm stuck on choosing a colour, I usually apply a stain or finish first on the timber top so I can see how this timber is going to come out. There is nothing worse than painting your furniture only to realise it doesn't work with the timber top finish you have. So that's what I'm doing right now, is applying Fusion's hemp oil onto this raw timber top to see what kind of finish I'm working with. Now that I can see the warmth of this timber is rich and deep, I'm feeling a shade of green would complement it best. I love creating custom colours, and this flip was the perfect opportunity to do just that. Here I'm experimenting at making a mild to light green colour using some leftover Fusion Mineral paints that I had. I've made the mistake of jumping straight into painting a whole piece, only to see the end result and hate the colour that I made. So to avoid this, I now always apply a test patch first before committing to painting the whole piece. This test patch is also important because it will show me if I need to lighten or darken my custom colour, or change it to a different colour entirely. With my test patch now dry, I can see that this custom colour is too vibrant and doesn't complement the warm oak of the timber at all. So instead, I'll try again with a new colour. This time I'm going to try a softer, more subtle colour called Eucalyptus by Fusion. To be sure this colour works, I'm painting another test patch. Seeing this new colour against the warm timber, I can definitely see this is the perfect choice. Now I can finally get to the fun part and begin painting the console table. I find painting by hand to be really relaxing, and it is always a joy to work with paints that are easy to apply and don't require much prep work. Fusion Mineral paints are perfect because there is a built-in primer and top coat in the paint. This saves you time and money on overall costs, which is always helpful when you're trying to flip furniture on a budget. And now to finish off this flip, I'm going to apply a second coat of hemp oil and we're done. So let's break down the costings for this flip. So the console table itself cost $50 from Facebook Marketplace and it pretty much would have only spent about $10 on the materials of the paint and then the hemp oil as well and the sanding pads. And the only thing that I bought new were the hardware pieces and these ones are called Penelope and they're actually from my own website which I'll link down below. And these were $10.50 each. And adding these hardware pieces really elevated 
the overall look and the warmth of the actual gold brass worked really nicely and tied in with the warmth of the oak timber as well. So all in, I spent $81. So if you're making this for yourself, you can see this is a really affordable way of elevating and adding some style to your home on a budget. This flip was one that I was going to sell and I ended up listing it for $400. I did have someone ask and offer $370 two days later, and I did take it. So the profit I got for this piece was $289. So with a bit of time, you can definitely transform any furniture piece that you find on Facebook Marketplace, whether this is to add some style and personality to your own home or to flip and make a bit of money on the side. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below to follow for more furniture flips and makeovers. So thanks for watching and see you next time.